Now, on this day, a hundred years ago, more than 1,400 sailors lost their lives when three warships were torpedoed during World War I. The three cruisers from one of the Navy's key bases, Chatham, were sunk in less than an hour by a German U-boat. It was one of the worst losses in British naval history, many of the men coming from the Medway towns. Well, today, relatives of those who died attended a special ceremony to mark the centenary of the disaster in Chatham. Mark Sanders has tonight's special report. More than 1,400 poppies falling silently, each one for a life lost 100 years ago to the day. This service at Chatham Historic Dockyard was to remember those who died when three Royal Navy warships were sunk. The cruisers Abakir, Hogue and Cressy were on patrol off the hook of Holland when they were torpedoed by a German submarine. Within just 90 minutes, 1,459 men were gone. One of them was Thomas Armitage. As his granddaughter explains, his wife found it an impossible burden to bear. When you've lost your husband, there is nothing that can replace that. And the children tried to succour her and help her, but with very little money, they all had to find work. So my mother was working when she was 13 to try and help support her mother. The ships were from the Chatham Port Division. Their loss ripples down the generations. 1,400 people lost their lives, 1,200 of whom came from the Chatham Port Division and had close family links with this part of Kent. So it's very much a service to remember those who died and the families who were affected. The loss of the three ships represents one of the Royal Navy's darkest days. And the battle at sea during the First World War is perhaps overshadowed at times by the fighting on land. Everybody's views today, 100 years on, is dominated by the impact of trench warfare. We think of the battles of the Somme, Passchendaele and Ypres. Um, the war at sea has tended to be lost, in, lost to sight, and that's probably because it was conducted out of sight, um, often many, many miles from land. Abukir, Hogue and Cressy, three names not to forget, because they stand for the many who died. And for those here today, the passing of a century doesn't diminish their loss. Mark Sanders, BBC South East Today, Chatham.